Are you a licensed engineer or an engineering graduate outside Canada who wants to immigrate and continue practicing your profession in Canada? If so, you have two options. First, you can work in the engineering field without a license for as long as a licensed engineer supervises you and takes responsibility for your work. But if you choose this path, you cannot use the title engineer or professional engineer because these titles are for those with a valid Canadian engineering license. Another option to practice your profession is to get a license and become an official engineer in Canada. While this path may require time and effort, it is most beneficial as it offers better financial rewards, independence, more career opportunities, and the right to use the title of professional engineer. Do you want to know how to apply for an engineering license in Canada? To start your application for licensure, you need to contact the engineering regulator for the province or territory where you want to practice to know more about their specific application requirements, fees, and timelines. For instance, if you plan to immigrate to Nova Scotia, you can Google Engineers Nova Scotia to know their application process and requirements, as well as their contact details, so you can email them directly if you need more information. Here's a list of Canada's engineering regulators in different provinces and territories. Start your application as soon as you can because it can take some time for the regulator to check your credentials after receiving all your documents. The regulator may also require you to do more, such as taking a test or getting more education and experience. The specific licensing requirements may vary depending on which provincial or territorial engineering regulator you intend to apply but there are five general components of the engineering licensure application process. One, academic assessment. One of the five essential requirements for licensure is an education in engineering. As such, the regulator will evaluate your academic documents, such as degrees, transcripts, and diplomas to determine if your engineering education meets the academic requirement for licensure, or if you need to take additional courses or technical examinations in Canada, Two, work experience assessment. Besides proving that you meet the necessary academic requirements for licensure, you should also show that you have applied your engineering education in relevant work for a certain amount of time. In most provinces and territories, you need at least four years of work experience. While you can earn most of the required engineering experience outside Canada, you must have at least one year of Canadian work experience. Essentially, the engineering regulator will assess your work experience to ensure you know the Canadian engineering practices, standards, and norms, as well as other cultural, technical, and business practices, and confirm the level of engineering work experience you gained outside of Canada. 3. Language Competency Assessment Another crucial part of the engineering licensure application process is the language competency assessment. Basically, you need to prove that you have the ability to communicate effectively, whether written or spoken, in either English or French, depending on the Canadian province or territory where you want to practice. The assessment process depends on the regulator, but it usually involves getting adequate scores from recognized language tests, like IELTS or CELPIP for English, as well as T for CHIFSEF for French. Four, character assessment. It is not enough that you are academically qualified and technically competent to become a licensed engineer in Canada. The engineering regulator will also ensure you have good character and a sound reputation. This is important because you are required to uphold the reputation of the profession as you work as a licensed engineer in Canada. 5. Professional Practice Examination To become an engineer in Canada, you must take and pass the Professional Practice Examination. This exam will test your knowledge of the laws that directly or indirectly impact the engineering profession, the professional standards that engineers must uphold, the ethical standards in Canada, and other relevant topics such as contracts, intellectual property, and professional liability. The PPE may vary in format, length, 
difficulty, and timing in the application process depending on the engineering regulator where you are applying for licensure. Once you meet all the requirements we have discussed and pay the necessary fees, you will receive your license and be able to practice engineering independently and legally in Canada. Are you ready to start your Canadian journey? Message us today so we can assess your credentials and find the most suitable pathway to immigrate and acquire permanent residency status in Canada as an engineer. Canada awaits you. Let us guide you there.